What's up everybody? My name is Rob Simmons and welcome to my channel. I am back with a very fire musical this time with Act 2, Part 3. Since every time I react to this show or with each part I watch, the story gets more and more exciting. So let's see what this, this section has for us. <laughs> Well, he's got some information to tell us about Voldemort. Did you bring the invisibility cloak? I got it right here. All right, Harry, so this better be good, because I don't have a snack, and I'm missing Wizards of Waverly Place for this, okay? So why don't we ever do this? So damn... Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Was that a fourth wall break right there? I love Marvel. Hogwarts is amazing. I love that. Well, the bat already oh, hilarious. No, 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 you're not. Love Twizzlers. Okay, when I said I needed your help, I meant both of you. So you guys gotta get over these hurt feelings before, before somebody gets hurt, okay? Come on. <laughs> Hello, Harry. Oh, oh, God damn it. I told you to come by yourself. Why did you have to bring the fatties? This information is as important as you say it is. They have a right to hear it. Well, I've been wrong before. Get in here, hot legs. I was talking to Weasley. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry, the place is such a stomp. <laughs> Zach, I'm Oh my god. That is a boss Zephron poster. <laughs> Just the greatest. You know, in every interview I've ever seen, it just seems like such a charismatic uh, humanitarian. <laughs> you like Anyway, no, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about Voldemort. Hearing is back, not necessarily about Zephron. Everybody knows that I like him the most. But uh, about the Dark Lord. If you uh, want to defeat this guy, you're going to have to know about Horcruxes. Okay. What's, um, what to what Horcrux? Horcrux is one of the most terrifying pieces of magic that a wizard can create. It's uh, yes, actually it when a wizard takes a piece of his soul and puts it into something else. Why would anybody ever want to do that? Harry, if you have a Horcrux, you can never truly die. Your body can be dead, but your soul can live on. It makes sense now, Harry. Everyone knows that the night your parents were killed, Voldemort was destroyed, but but somehow he survived. He must have had a Horcrux. He didn't just have one Horcrux. He had six of us. Oh, I've already killed the first five for you, so don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys have to find the last one. <laughs> sort of Godric Gryffindor. Oh, that's right. Oh, Godric Gryffindor nice. is one of the four founders of Hogwarts. If anything can destroy a Horcrux, that sword is it. This thing is so damn awesome. <laughs> oh my god, every wizard should have a sword, not these stupid drumsticks, forget about them. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! Okay, you know what, don't yeah. So we know what a Horcrux is, that's a bunch of good. Where are they? Where's the last one? We find them with this. Oh! Looks like <laughs> Gene. Is like that the time turner? Green, but it is actually a Horcrux human medallion. Wait, that's a Horcrux human medallion? I don't know. That sounds a little too convenient. Oh, so you have problems with a time turner, oh, not with a Horcrux. Oh, stand corrected. Wait, so if he has this piece of bling, then why are Ron and I even here? Yeah, Voldemort isn't any of our business. Yeah. Hermione Granger. When one of you has got a problem, that means all three of you has got a problem. What would True. you have Efron say at a time like this? We're all in this together. <laughs> anyway, you just gotta, you gotta find the one and you gotta destroy them. It's the only way to beat the dog. What is that? Kids? Oh, it must be the Death Eaters. They're coming to kill me. Kids, get your pants on. We, we don't have any pants. I thought I told you to be a building club. Oh, we'll put that on. It's not a beer. <laughs> oh, I thought I saw someone over there by that mirror, but I could have just been imagining what it was that I looked like without this beer. <laughs> All right, everybody, spread out and look for Dumbledore. He's got to be around here somewhere. Be careful with the Zac Efron poster. It's an antique. Mm. <laughs> I just appreciate his charms. And hey, <laughs> hey, 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 I wish that I could say that it was me, because I feel that I love Zephron the most. <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely a voice from within this room. Is it an invisible man? Could the predator be in the room? <laughs> oh, another movie the reference. Invisible man! Come 
Oh, <laughs> the end with the beer turned me in. <laughs> now we've got you right where we want you. Yes, but what I don't understand is how. We had the help of a man on the inside. Someone you trusted. Someone you may have Nate. even loved. Slugworth? Lockhart? Aberforth, my brother? No! It was me! Uh, Draco! Now for you little shit! <laughs> <laughs> that caught me off guard, I'm sorry. I betrayed everyone. And now I'm going to kill you. Oh, no you're not, Draco. If you were gonna kill me, you would've done so already. No, no, no. Not necessarily true. I just wanted to offer you one more game of Connect Four before I offed you. <laughs> Draco, there are other options. You know, it is time that you look inside yourself and figure out what it is that you really want. I want a mining granger and a rocket ship. <laughs> <laughs> well, then why don't you just take the girl out for a happy meal and go to the space camp? Come on. Murder leads to a life of despair desperation. I know you're going to do the right thing, honey. Huh? Boy, what the devil is going on here? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> We've got Dumbledore uh, cornered. Well, what are we waiting for? Kill him! Do it, Draco! Well, I don't think I can! Coward! Ten points from Gryffindor! <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't understand! I gave you my Letterman's jacket! <laughs> It never fits. <laughs> oh, God! Why didn't you tell me? I could have shrunk it with magic. Severus, please don't kill me. Avada, Kadava! No, <laughs> First, Cedric. No. Man, this is getting kind of dark. Of course they're gonna leave it up the Vayner. I hate sleep, I hate him. Okay, okay. I'm gonna kill him. It's not your fault, Harry. No, it is my fault. Don't you get it? Everybody's dying because of me. First Cedric, now Dumbledore. I can't do it anymore. Come on, let's go to the burrow. Come no, on. No, don't you get it? I had to do this by myself. I did it once when I was a baby. I, I can't have you guys be near me. You're, I'm gonna put you at risk. Well, no, but we don't care about the risk. No, you don't understand. You, you, you have to get away from me. You can't mean that. Aww. Dude, just leave me alone. <laughs> Man, that episode took a turn. Is it me or is the show getting dark? Well, that being said, it's still, why well, I said it many, many times, brilliant and hilarious. And this is not a criticism, but it looks like there was a bit of, a fair, a fair amount of, um, what's the word? I'm sorry, I'm having a brain fart. Product placement in that series between McDonald's, Twizzlers, Disney, you name it. And I haven't mentioned this enough about the show, but their use of props is very clever. And clearly that was just a phone sword they bought the toy store. I actually found it very believable as Grundrick Gryffindor's sword. And that's how much, uh, that's how brilliant the show is. And plus, I, I gotta double check when this show was released, because that was a young picture of Zac Efron right there. So just a second, guys, when I look up I'm on YouTube, a very pirate musical. Act 1, Part 1, yep, July 2009, so that was Zach fresh out of his high school musical years before he did all those raunchy comedies. And all that being said, another brilliant rendition, or excuse me, installment of the show. But let me know in the comments what you think of the show so far. Thank you for watching.